What's up, sweaties? It's episode 210 of Collider Heroes. I'm John Schnepp. Thanks for tuning in on Monday. It's Martin Luther King Day. Oh. Enjoy the day off and get sweaty with us. I've got some special guests with me. Right here, we got Roka, the producer of our show, and he's here with his Superman <laughs> thing. Yeah, and he's also got a crinkly bag, so if you're crinkles, <laughs> you know that it's not me. And our other guest, Jay Washington, Hello. is here. That's right. The, this is first time on Heroes. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. I don't know why I posed like this. That's but I right. I felt like I should do right. that. That's a, that's a, that's a superhero. Because like, I saw Roka try to do this. And right. He, he was oh, and he kind of failed at it, too. He had a, this was Roka. Don't you Because like, it looked like it hurt. I've got the super. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, hey, I'm guess swearing. what? Uh, this is a special all-Twitter episode. We, we called some of the best questions that you guys and gals put on the tweets and uh, we're gonna answer as best we can some of these questions. I wanna give a special th shout out to Frank Lucatuardo. Now this man did an incredible job at editing, not one, not seven, <laughs> not 27, <laughs> not 43, hey 50 episodes of Collider Top 50 Superhero Movies. Now that is an amazing, amazing thing. I don't know if you guys have seen all of them or not, now, all of us on the panel here don't agree with all the numbers and all this other stuff, but guess what? You get a chance to see top 50 films, all of our opinions on these top 50 films, and then think about re-watching any one of these numbers, top you know, number seven, number 15, number 38, whichever one is the film that kind of sparked you up to be like, I want to re-watch this film. It made you think about that film again. So I want to give Frank a very special shout out because Editing is a tough job. He did a, an amazing job picking all the clips, yeah. putting everybody's opinions and collating everything. So once again, thanks, Frank. And definitely check out the Top 50. It ended on Friday. You got today off. Check out. Watch it. It's a lot of fun. Whether or not you agree with any of them, it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, Dark Knight is number one. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> and we all knew that. So it doesn't really, it wasn't like, a, hmm, I wonder what, is it going to be the Phantom? No. <laughs> if anybody it's not it yeah. the Phantom. Was I know. What? I've been clowning Jesus. about it. I was like, yep, yeah, it's Billy Zane. Billy Zane's yeah. number one. I really was hoping Mystery Man would get on there. But I know, no, right? No, no. Yeah. No, no. That, that was no, no William H. Macy for you. That's May the right. forks be with you. I yeah. don't know. All so right. this is a very special All uh, Last Jedi Twitter fest. So we're going <laughs> to just move right into it right away with Derek Richardson asking, could Latveria now share a border with Sokovia in the Marvel, in the MCU? And would Doctor Doom make his armor out of scraps of Ultron bots? I like that. It kind of trails off into how would. I don't know. You, you ran out of characters, yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's weird. So we're just going to take the first two parts of your question <laughs> because I liked it. It didn't matter if you rambled off. How would you construct it? I can only imagine. <laughs> would the suits, what? Yeah, would the would suits you, flow? Would you use? He yeah. literally had a nerdgasm in Right. He was like, hey, <laughs> Ultron bots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dr. So. Doom. <laughs> Sokovia. I love that idea, though. Would Latveria border Sokovia? What do you guys think? Well, go ahead, Jay. What I, I would actually, if they, if it, if, if Doom gets incorporated in MCU, I could see it happening because it makes it easier to explain those Eastern European countries, right. Sokovia, Latveria, then when you go to Wakanda down in Africa, you can bring other things in. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and to the say used Ultron bots is really a good thing because Doom is supposed to be a genius. Right. And to know that this was created by artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. so this is the best of the best, I was, why not? Right. Why also, not? Doom used Doom bots all right. the time. All he had the time. multiple versions of himself. Just mm -hmm. like, I couldn't be bothered to be at that one meeting, so I, I put off let my Doom bot. Right. Let, why not do that? Yeah. So, yeah, it, it's possible. I don't think it would be like a direct neighboring country, mm -hmm. but it would be in that area. For sure. How about you, right. Rebecca? Well, it's interesting because it could be a replacement. Kind of like what we see where U Yugoslavia and Croatia, like they, they yeah. separate. It could be Lat, where, where Latvia comes out of Sokovia and right. then Dr. Doom and all that happening there and his anger about what happened with Sokovia. We saw that with uh, Baron Zemo. We saw yeah. that with that, his stuff. And I agree, like this whole idea, you could build his armor. That's brilliant. That's such a really brilliant. And I don't think we're done with Ultron in the MCU. I really don't. That, that portal they had in the Infinity War, that's the same color scheme as Ultron, that mm. silver and black, exact hue of those colors. So to me, in my mind, I don't think we're done with the Ultron technology or Ultron in the MCU just yet. They might wait a little bit, but they might make allusions to it to let you know the universe. He's still in the universe. Well, because of Vision. Right. More so anything right, right. because vision. of vision. Yeah, exactly. Vision has part of him in him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think that could be a way to bring Ultron back if we want to go there. Yeah. So, yeah. I want to go there. I want Kang. I want, you know, we, Kang, Avengers, Kang Avengers Secret Wars. Yeah, let's go there. We're, we're <laughs> totally talk, calling it Avengers 4, but we know it's Secret Wars right. or Annihilation. Whatever you guys want to pretend, call it Avengers 4, whatever. Um, look, I don't know if they're going to introduce Doctor Doom 
by Avengers 4, like they're going to introduce Galactus or all these other things, because that is a year and a half away. Right, yeah. And everyone's talking about, look, it's going to take 12 to 16 months to get all those clearances, all those dot those T's and get everything legal. So I don't know if Doctor Doom is going to show up or like we're going to have like little things at the Avengers Infinity Wars mm -hmm. where they're going to start talking about adamantium and the drop in clues here and there. But I think definitely by Avengers 4, if that, you know, if everything seems like it's signed off, we're going right. to see those kind of little things, even if it's down to, uh, you know, credit sequences. Yeah, I, I've yeah. even said that where if, if for some reason that the paperwork has been filled out and everything's been signed and we don't know, if, we, if we're going to include somehow, some way just to say the X-Men are here, mm -hmm. all you'll see is, and seeing here is, Shing! you'll just see claws on Sheev. Right. Yeah. Because that tells you everything right there. Mm -hmm. You even hear a conversation with Tony Stark saying, well, I just got off the phone with Reed Richards. Yeah. Right. You know, you don't have to see the Fantastic Four. Mm -hmm. It's just those little bitty elements here and there to let you know this is what it is. Well, look, right. Stark Tower, which became Avengers Tower, I feel is going to become the Fantastic Four's Four. oh, yeah. Baxter yeah. Building. Yeah, the Baxter I mean, Building, yeah. Yeah, because they moved or, away. Or Oscorp. So we don't know like oh, Oscorp, how they're right. going to incorporate things like that, but it kind of all those things are kind of open right now yeah. to yeah. explore. So good question. Derek, well, let's go to Tweets by Me. Do you think Shazam will have a cameo from anyone else in the DCFU? And if so, do who do you think it will be? Do who do who do you think it will be? <laughs> well, <laughs> do who? Well, Shazam having a cameo. Well, actually, uh, Zachary Levi just a couple days ago was like, I'd love to see Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. Yeah. But that's just him kind of mouthing off. That's not official. Mm -hmm. um, so, but I don't mind. I would love to see Wonder Woman because obviously the Greek gods, it ties in with Shazam. Yes, it does. Um, makes a lot of sense, actually. So. Yeah. I would love to see Gal in it. How about anybody else? Yeah, I think absolutely. I'd love to see, her, but I'd also like to see Superman. Mm. This whole idea, whatever, the, when that's, once they figure that all out, because one yeah. of the greatest pieces of art is that Alex Ross oh, yeah. uh, slamming Superman, fighting uh, Shazam in midair, also in Kingdom Come. There's so oh, yeah. much of that storyline, too. So there, at least an allusion to it, or maybe an appearance by him, because he is supposed to be Earth's mightiest mortal. Superman is supposed to be the strongest person on the planet mm. uh, as well. And so it would be interesting to see how that would play out. And would he take him under his wing, guide right. him, that kind of stuff. And you get possibly into the Justice League. So there's a there's a lot of games to play here with Shazam. I would definitely have Wonder Woman. I think Flashpoint might make a shot. It might jump, or Flash, rather, right. might jump in there as well. So I, lo I love that you mentioned with. that because also remember, Shazam in this version of Shazam is the young Billy Batson. Right. And he stays the young Billy Batson when he right. turns into yep. Shazam. So it's literally a 13 or 14-year-old kid. So if he got pissed at Superman, he's like an a angry kid. kid. Right, right. Which brings in my, my person, I would like to see the Green Lantern. Mm. Mm. Because remember, if you remember the Justice League cartoon, how Hal is the only one that knows his secret. Right. Hal is the only one that knows that he's a kid. Mm. Yep. And so we could finally see the Green Lanterns more than what we saw in Wonder Woman. Definitely. I mean, we all felt, I mean, not Wonder Woman, excuse me, Justice League. Right. We all felt cheated. Yes. When you saw that little bit, that scene back in the day, you right. saw the old Lanterns. And we know the Green Lantern core is coming out. Right. right. But we don't have a full date on that. So why not give a small cameo of a Lantern or something that, you know, hey, kid, calm down. Mm -hmm. yeah. Something like that. I feel like also I would like to see Black Adam incorporated oh, into yeah. the Shazam oh, yeah, that, universe that, because, I mean, look, I love The Rock, but having a Black Adam separate movie was kind of like all these other characters having separate movies before you actually yeah. have a Man of Steel 2 or the Batman. You're having all these side characters. It just seems goofy to me. So, and they're trying to introduce him in Suicide Squad 2. Yeah. They're saying Black Adam is the bad guy. Right. There's a weapon of mass destruction, and the weapon is Black Adam. I'm like, how does this all work? Because yeah. it, it makes no I mean, you're supposed to be working on a universe again. Right. And again, Suicide Squad is in the DCEU. Mm -hmm. So Black Adam is supposedly not. But if he's in this film... Yeah. Isn't he in the DCEU now? Yeah, and does him playing around with Suicide Squad, does something, whatever happens between them, does that create Shazam? And like the maybe the right. end of Suicide Squad is him, like Billy Batson, like all of a sudden getting hit by something for whatever reason. I certainly and hope not. becomes Shazam. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know why? Because it's like, know. look, I mean, at the end of Just League, they kind of start to hint at the Legion of Doom. Right. right. Now, who better to fight the Suicide Squad than another mm. even wor badder Suicide Squad if you want to make... Deadshot and these other characters, heroes, don't put them up against another Enchantress or even a right. Black Adam, like yeah. a super powered, right. like a guy who could like wreck all of these humans. Hi, I've got a baseball bat. Nothing. You're just <laughs> you're destroyed. <gone. laughs> yeah. I'm a, a person with that. Oof, you're done. You're a red smear. Who's well, another you, human? You, you got a sword? You know? Yeah. You got a sword? Headless. <laughs> just blood That's shooting cute. out of the neck. It's, it's yeah, it's literally, I'm a dude in the army, headless. You know, just like with it, before you could even finish your sentence, I've, I've, I've got your head in my hand and your neck spurting blood. Bones, I mean, dust. Yeah. 
yeah. I mean, yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. It's yeah. like they've got to at least be like teamed up, like right. Mm -hmm. You know, the, so that's what I'd like to see. I, I'm not against the Suicide Squad too. I would just want the Suicide Squad two to be what the first one should have been. Yeah. <laughs> so man, listen, don't we all? All right. Do, we'll do you do you one quick question? Yeah. Do you think now with Hamada taking over, now they're gonna it's like a, they're gonna reshape this whole thing right. again? Do you think we will see? Uh, that situation do we think the rock is black adam i i'm starting to feel like maybe that's done i think it's over yeah you do too yeah like, oh, his own black adam film yeah no, it's uh, him, he's been playing black oh adam. yeah no no, no I he's playing it. you think he'll play it no but he's he still playing it he's okay. still playing it for right. sure he's just not going to be it's just not going to be that solo black adam film right okay. anymore just like lobo's done dead Thank shots done God. black God. adam's done and it makes sense no one's crying about it right, no right. angry about right. it so i mean if you heard tomorrow you're like that black adam thing the rock's going to show up in shazam all of us would be like cool cool yeah makes sense yeah true all right, let's go to Gamers Genie asks, what do you think the post credit scene will be for Infinity War? So what we were just talking, you could have <sighs> Dr. Doom, mm -hmm. you could have like Tony Stark being like, yo, Reed Richards, what's up with him? You know, yep. how's the new building? You know, what do you think it's gonna be? I think a lot of dead Avengers, uh, and I think Galactus. Mm. An allusion to Galactus. Oh, That's yeah. my thought. Maybe even Silver Surfer. Like something. I think something's gonna be crazy to happen, but I do think a lot of dead Avengers will be there, and then that'll lead us into the second installment of Infinity War. Love it, what do you think? I'm hoping that we don't get it before the film ends. We see particularly Nebula pick up the gauntlet. Mm. Oh yeah, And just yeah, yeah. take it and all of a sudden close her eyes. Oh, and then it just goes black. Damn, mm. so check it, like Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 had like, I think four credit sequences. Yes, yeah. <laughs> now that's what I personally, gr I'm greedy. I want, you I, want, four. I want five, I want five, I want, Spider-Man with the Venom symbiote suit. Because yeah. you're not tricking me, Oh yeah, Sony. Yeah. I know Spider-Man Spider and Peter Parker are going to be mentioned in Venom. Sorry. Case closed. <laughs> Just keep lying. I know about that. It's not happening. Oh, damn. He's going to be part of it. Otherwise, it's, yeah. it's stupid. You heard it here it first. Make makes no sense. sense. Yeah. I've been crying and whining about this for months and months. Because <laughs> I'm like, people are like, he's definitely not part of Venom. It's like, I don't care what you say. On opening day, didn't come at me. Because I, I was one of those. I'm not gonna lie. I was one of those people that were like, they were dead said like, he's not. They're not gonna do it. They're not gonna do it. And then we would have a discussion before we started filming and everything. I was like, yeah, but Amy Cascal did run her mouth early. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They say she ran her mouth early. Yeah. So it may be. It may have been supposed to be a secret that nobody knew. Right. But like now, it's gonna be like, all right, just make sure his pitches don't leak. Right. If anything, we're shooting. Just wherever he is, no cameras are allowed anywhere. Amy's I mean, all yeah. over the place too, man. Amy's producing so many things she, now as a freelance yeah. producer. I mean, oh, the yeah. emails, the emails were almost like a godsend for her because <laughs> she moved away from the studio. Like a bunch of the yeah. best picture nominees have her as well. Like oh, Molly's yeah. Game, she is producing a lot of these. Mm -hmm. So it's incredible. What well, people forget. I mean, yeah. it's easy to crack on somebody, but she's like been in the game yeah. for like twenty five years. Yeah. She's produced mm -hmm. tons of movies, yeah. and I say she's not stupid by any stretch of the imagination. She's right. an incredible, intelligent, smart producer. Yeah. So if she's saying like oh iron man's not part of this but spider-man is i'm like no i'm believing that because that makes sense mm -hmm. okay so especially within all these contractual things but uh anyway i'd like to see dr doom mm -hmm. i'd like to see galactus i'd like to see kang yeah. i'm talking about all these like special like introduce a lot of different Can we things. see the real galactus and not what we saw in fantastic a Four. giant cloud <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah dude a I purple would, cloud are they, purple? The are they gonna do the head the helmet because remember we better. saw the shadow of it right yeah in fantastic Four, right. silver surfer right, silver surfer we saw a shadow of it but never yeah. saw galactus you're like mm -hmm. don't do this don't don't please don't do it please you know, tell me he's in the cloud i nope. think his helmet i was saying this earlier his helmet yeah. is designed off of the seagram seven alcohol if you look at that <laughs> weird thing That's i think cool. kirby was i was like mm, they just sketched that well, let me go in yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. just color it a different color i think so so good question man kyle white asks when do you think we'll hear about a season two of the defenders well look they just announced a punisher season two mm -hmm. yeah they've got jennifer jones in the can I'm sorry, Jessica, Jessica Jones. Jones. They've got Jessica Jones in the can. They've got Luke Cage in the can. They're filming Iron Fist. They're, they're filming Iron Fist. They're and also filming Daredevil. Daredevil. Mm -hmm. so that's all happening right now. Right. They're filming that. So they're going to film Punisher later this year mm -hmm. in New York season two. Yep. So my guess is whatever happens with Marvel, Disney, Fox, streaming services that are going to be kicking off in you know late 2019 mm -hmm. or whatever it is, we're gonna get another season of Defenders. I would like yeah, to see it's a, that. It's a mini series. Yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't one of those. It's just a season finale. Right. Mm -hmm. It's a mini series where they know they can come back to it. So, and you kind of want to, especially we've seen how they did it the first time. Where one of the beautiful things I liked about it, it before they put them together, it kept the color elements of each show. Mm -hmm. Then totally. when they brought it together, was one thing. Now we don't have to do that anymore. Right. We can have this one straight color palette all the way through. 
Sure. Or, but it didn't bother me. I, I mean, like it didn't it. bother me. If they have, just, have those separate uh, uh, separate little adventures before they come back together again. Yeah, I can see that. They might do that. Um, I would like to see some of the other characters also bring get brought up a little bit more. Now we got the gal with the robot arm. We got a whole bunch of yeah, characters yeah, yeah. from Iron Fist. I mean, I'm sure they're going to, you know, the, the dragons the are going to show The Daughters of Dragon. Yeah. Well, they're supposed to be, from what I was reading, and I, I'm not sure how much, I'm not 100% Misty sure. Misty Knight. Misty Knight and Colleen right. Wing. From what I'm hearing, they're not going to let them be the Daughters of the Dragon. They may flip it on us and turn her, them two into the Heroes for Hire. Oh, wow. Whoa. Because That's everybody right. thinks they're put, they're pushing Heroes for Hire with Luke Cage and Iron Fist. They're right. like, oh, we're, we're, we're giving it to you. We're forcing it down your yeah, throat. Yeah. But they may flip it and give it to them two, which I would not be opposed to. I like that to. flip. Yeah. If they called it Heroes for Hire, Heroines for Hire. Yeah. yeah or they could just call Heroes for Hire and yeah. have two women. Just, like, just have two women. Yeah. And you add a new subplot to the whole thing, so it totally works. And well, the thing is, with, with Defenders, it's interesting because it is the least watched of all the Netflix series. It's really, they did a survey of it. 17% of the viewership that Daredevil Season 2 received in the first 30 days, that's all they clocked in at, the Defenders. 17% of the viewership of what Daredevil did. And they looked at it with a study through Netflix and all these subs and all the stuff that they did through Netflix subs, that's what they found. And so that's insane to me that it was that low. So we'll get one because they almost never not do a season two right, of anything because right. we're getting that season two of Iron Fist and everybody hated that thing. And I think Except Iron Fist Roxy. helped screw up and Defenders. And that's just what I was about yeah. to say. Iron Fist is the reason Defenders was so. Yeah. Yeah. Iron Fist was the lead in directly to it. And yep. everybody was like, if this is Iron Fist, I can't. Yo, yeah. I even skipped. I'll be honest, man. <laughs> I, 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 I said it, I skipped the first five. I tried watching oh. the first one. I was like, nope. I went right to six. For yeah, what they said it picked for, up. No, for Iron Fist. That's what they right. said it picked up yeah, after yeah, six. Yeah, because yeah, I was like, yeah, this it, it's just too boring, man. Yeah. And it's mm -hmm. like, see, rich people's problems. I'm, I'm not Danny tuning Rand, in. though. <laughs> I know, right? I'm Danny Rand. But it was more like, I'm Danny Rand. I'm Danny Rand. You <laughs> <laughs> be in this tower. <laughs> Yawn. I'm sorry. Yeah. Skip, 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 skip. And then it started to pick up a little bit. But I think, I think Punisher, see, Punisher season one kind of, for lack of a better term, saved the, the public's desire to see more Marvel 100%. Stuff. Because I, yes. with Defender, with Iron Fist to Defenders, people were starting to fall away from this. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then Punisher really brought him back. So I'm Oh, happy without a doubt. That. Punisher was like, you know, that was like, I've been reborn like yeah. a phoenix. Yeah. I believe in that. They didn't even yeah. have to be called Marvel's The Punisher. Punisher. Right. right. It was just a great series. Like yeah. there were no superpowers at all. Nope. This was just a regular dude who's former military going mm -hmm. through some things. Brutal. Brutally. Mm -hmm. And they tied up his loose ends from Daredevil too. Yep. It was like, let's go on, let's go and get this out the way real quick. Right. Mm -hmm. With Karen Page and everything, yeah. All right, next question. Lance Green. Hi, everyone. Love the show. Question. Do you think we'll ever see Wesley Snipes as Blade again? And if so, <laughs> in the movies or television? Well, look. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say this, man. Wesley Wesley Snipes killed it in Blade. Yes. In 1998, that's the first... I'm not talking about Howard the Duck. This is the first Marvel movie yep. that kicked ass. And I couldn't believe it. I went with a friend of mine. I was like, let's go see Blade. And he didn't know it was a, a superhero. I was like, look, it has to do with Tomb of Dracula. I'm not going to bore you. Let's go see the movie. We saw the movie. We came out. We were hyped. Mm -hmm. Like from that blood dance rave scene yes. all the way to the end with them the weird... CG vampire things or whatever, mm -hmm. it was fun. Mm -hmm. The Daywalker was fun. I thought Wesley Snipes embodied that character mm -hmm. like I would have never thought. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, he is like, it was so much fun that yeah, he Blade Two equally. I I, I love Blade Two. Yeah. I think Guillermo did an incredible job. He flipped it, and made the vampires have to team up. There, there's something creepier than us. So had a creepier like succubus. You I know, see where you're going shit. with this one. But yeah, you see where I'm going. So then, unfortunately, we got. I know where he was going. We went to the Trinity or whatever it was called. Oh, the one where he didn't even want to do it anymore. I know, and there was some anger issues. There was some punch out sequences with him and David Gore that you never saw because this uh -huh. is behind the scenes. Yeah. But you know, to be honest with you, I didn't. I didn't mind Hannibal King. Every time he was on, every time Ryan Reynolds was uh -huh. on the screen, I was laughing mm -hmm. because he was cracking jokes. He made me laugh when he's cutting down. Um, what was it? Triple H. Triple H. Yeah. <laughs> You made a goddamn vampire Pomeranian? Yes. <laughs> so, I mean, that's what I mean. I mean, there are some moments in Blade Trinity mm -hmm. that really worked. Mm -hmm. uh, moments. moments. But there's a lot of other things that just didn't work. And it was like, you could tell that Wesley wasn't happy. So, what are you guys' thoughts about Wesley? Now, also, we don't want to forget Sicky Fingers played Blade. I, I think know. I was going to I'm glad you said because I was going to bring it up, too. No, no, no. I love that series. I it was on Sticky. TNN when yes, it was called. Sticky. TNN before Spike. Was, before was it? No, I think it was Spike at the time. Was it Spike? It was Spike. Okay. It was right. Spike at the time. It went through like three different brand iterations. Doug Jones, so yeah. Sticky Fingers, yeah, did a man. great job. That was a damn good show. Yeah. 
considering this is a guy from Onyx, you're like, this right. guy can act, and he did a damn good job. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I edited <laughs> Sticky Fingers' movie. I edited his like, musical oh, rap oh, movie. Oh, I edited really? the entire thing, so check nice. it out. I think it's on Amazon or whatever. Here, here's what I think. I think it's certainly possible to come back as Blade, but it, I think it might be a Conan Arnold Schwarzenegger situation. Because Wesley, getting, you know, I love Wesley, saw so him in Expendables 3. Wesley right. can do no wrong in my mind, even those bad directed DVD videos or movies. Right. Wesley is a badass. Right. I love him. Enjoy him to pieces. I know he's a little loony, but he's fun on Twitter, so follow him on Twitter if you don't. Yes. My man is fire on Twitter. Right. But I would love to see him like hand the mantle or train someone, like the Zorro thing with Anthony Hopkins and Medeiros, like something like we train someone to be a daywalker. I know it'd be weird. It, would it be another daywalker? Could you have that happen? But you have to do something. Well, doesn't so, he have a daughter now? Wasn't there like- What, a, in the comics? No, no, I, am I remembering it wrong? He no, didn't have like, a daughter in Trinity. He never had it, no, they never, uh, had, it, never uh, had a kid. Natasha Lyonne had a daughter in the okay. film and then she saves because- okay. right. Know. But I think you're right. There, there's, there are moments of Trinity that are great, but- Wesley and Ryan, that does did not work from the beginning, and they were slamming heads because Wesley was right. I think Wesley in the long one was right. It's like you mean you're Wesley changing. and David Goyer, not Ryan. No, no, no. Ryan Reynolds, like he didn't like that Ryan and, and like Jessica were on the film. He hated oh, that they were bringing right. that comedic right. right. stuff because right. they were thought, taking, they're pulling focus. Right. Right. And, yeah. and it changed the tone. Yes, like the first did. two films are dark. Stephen Norrington and, and uh, Guillermo did a fantastic job. First two films. The third film's a lot of jokes in the darkness. So there are scenes that work, but most of the scenes that work, it's rare the comedy. It's more the dark stuff. And so I'd like to see him. Well, Rogue, I agree with you, like, Blade as Whistler would work. So Wesley Snipes sure, as the yeah. older guy okay. bringing in a new Daywalker, what are your thoughts? So, for, for me personally, <laughs> Wesley Snipes does no wrong because <laughs> I've had the pleasure to work with him on Shy mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, to, to see that, and like you say, to, he can still be at the top of his game. But granted, he is older now. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would love to see him as Blade mm. and then find out there is another Daywalker. Mm -hmm. Let him, like you said, let him find out it's another Daywalker. And yeah. again, I, I go with everything you say. Let's take over the mantle, but I still want to see him there. Yeah. First and foremost, before you just, in, you know, install a brand new Blade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can get a new Blade. Let's do that. But let him be the conduit to say, here I am. I'm finally passing it on and not have this walk off like we did in Blade Trinity, where it was like, Blade. <sighs> gave his life and blah 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 yeah. just i was like i hated that fade ending. out on a motorcycle fade out on thing, a motorcycle yeah. so let's bring him in again wesley shouts out to you man make sure y'all follow him on twitter <laughs> <laughs> it's it's great. he goes in on everybody yeah. right <laughs> but yeah you bring him in to close that up mm -hmm. now what if you kept wesley as blade okay and introduced a series like if they did the disney thing and they did the midnight suns and you got ghost rider you got blade you got <sighs> morbius well, so you I'm asking not. Wesley to share the screen again? Yes, I am. I think, he would, I think he would because he's done Expendables. Yeah. He's done Expendables. Well, Expendables was saving his career but because none, he was but, directed but DVD. It, but Stallone brought him in. It doesn't matter. He still had to share the spotlight with all of the top stars yeah. at their time. Yeah. yeah. You couldn't, you couldn't, you had to share the spotlight with even people under you per se. Yeah. You had to share it with Terry Crews. Yeah. Whether you want to admit it or not, Terry Crews is under him as far as career level. Mm -hmm. So I think he could do the Midnight Suns. He could, but it would be a good way to say he's the first one out. Yeah. yeah. And again, if we do that, which Ghost Rider do we do? Do we do the Robbie Reyes from Agents of Shield? Right. I would I would keep Robbie Reyes. Or I mean, obviously that's Agents of Shield. If it's on it's on another channel, if it's a streaming service, mm -hmm. bring in a new Johnny Blaze. My brain just exploded with Nick Cage and Wesley Snipes doing it together. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not mad at that. Blade. Blade. I am not Blade. mad at, at all. Ghost yeah. Rider. The guy, who, like, Nick Cage, with that crazy panda outfit, like was it, the non-ghost oh, face. Was like, let's do the first Ghost Rider, not the Spirit of Vengeance Ghost Rider. <laughs> right, uh, exactly. Let's do this. All right. Well, hopefully they get this Midnight Suns going. I want to see it. Raymond Verada asks, "Which DC book would you like Brian Michael Bendis to write?" Now, look, I think Tom King is doing a killer job on Batman, but I would mm. like to see Michael uh, Brian Michael Bendis do either Batman or Superman. I so. Was what do you think? I was gonna say either Batman or Superman. I want to see what he does with the top tier characters at DC. We've we've read his stories in Marvel. We know what he does. Right. Put him, give him the, give him the big dogs. Sure. Mm -hmm. You want to introduce him to your DC audience? Give him the big dogs. Now, what about Justly? He did a crazy job on Avengers. Give him a team book. Mm -hmm. You give him that. Yeah. Sure. But you want to make sure you you're introducing these DC comic fans to somebody new because right. a lot of people don't want to accept new writers, it, it takes a while. But you have somebody who's coming over who's highly revered as Bendis, yep. give him the top tier. Let Show him, look, I'm, I'm, we're trusting him with this person, with a Batman. You understand know how hard yeah. that is to say, we trust this writer who was for uh, an opposing company sure. to come in and do Batman. But technically he wrote Batman, it was called Daredevil. So it's like literally, he's <laughs> like, I, you're working for the other Batman from Marvel, yeah. now you get to write the real one. So it's sort of like, like Frank Miller was like, I've, you know, Got my teeth wet with you know Daredevil. Yeah. I'm ready to yeah. jump over here. So what do you think? I'm I'm crazy. 
I want him to do the question. Oh, I nice. think with him and Alex Malib, the partnership they have and the stuff they did with Daredevil, to see them bring that into the question. Like, I was, I've been a fan of the question for a long time. Dude, that's time. not a crazy thing, man. Right. Danny O'Neill and... Uh, uh, Oh, man, I'm going to space out his name. I'm sorry. I can't remember. I'll look either. it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, yeah. That's, incredible the, that's artist. the collection that I collected, the Danny O'Neill Dennis stuff. Cohen. Dennis Cohen. Dennis yeah. Cohen. Yep. Yeah. Like, all through the like, la la all late 80s, early yeah. 90s. They were awesome. They're great. Right? They were so, they're, like, it came along the same time as like Shadow was being redone as well. Yep. So those two were just my outside ones that I collected all the time. That's like that original, the original style Brubaker stuff. Yes. I'm sure when Brubaker was like our age, a little kid and stuff, he's like, I love the question. I never <laughs> asked Brubaker, but I'm sure you ask him, he'd be like, I was reading the question. Yeah. Well, the question is gritty and he's like he's solving these, these stuff and the mysteries and all the stuff that he's doing it's it would be interesting i get it. they're probably going to give him one of the big title shows but i really wish he wow, did the i love that now now awesome. that you said that i'm angry because yeah. now i'm like <laughs> i was always very content with like just give ben this whatever superman but now i want him to write the question because he would kill it so yeah. all right rob glass of like, rob galafasi i hope i got your name right since the captain marvel movie will be taking place during the kree scroll war what are the chances of Lee Pace reprising his role as Ronan the Accuser since that character played a major role in the story from the comic? I love that question because, Rob, I personally think Yondu is going to show up. Oh, yeah. Because he's oh, not dead yet either. Yeah, We're going right. back into the mm -hmm. 90s. Yeah. We're going to old school Marvel. Mm -hmm. We're going to see what the, all the possibilities mm -hmm. that we would love to see like a couple of years earlier like like obviously Nick Fury still has both eyes yes. so we're yeah. like we're playing in a world we've never yeah. been in before yeah. and then we're getting cosmic so these possibilities are there what do you think Jay? I, I think we could do that we definitely could see Ronan but I don't think it would be in a major major way because with the casting they're doing yeah Jude Law is Marvel now mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. they just cast I forgot who it was uh the girl who's play, who's Nola from She's Gotta Have It mm -hmm. they haven't said who she is but everybody is pretty sure she's Mar Monica Rambeau mm -hmm. uh right the original Captain yeah yeah, the original right. Captain Marvel. You know, I think it's going to focus more on Earth. Yeah, it is going to be the Kree Skull role, you know, the war. Right. Sorry, I got sway for a second. Not, the, not Jude Law, who was Marvel, but the Captain Marvel, Marvel. that they did a yes. reboot, John Romita, senior designed or whatever. You know. Absolutely. So. They, thank you for breaking that down. Right. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I just think they won't go too far in depth because if you do, it takes it away completely from Earth. Right. Because it's got to be set on Earth. And to see, I mean, it would be nice to see Ronan and to see Yondu, but yeah. what's the odds? Yeah. You know, I, what's the odds to see them both? Ronan right. possibly, or he may not even be seen, he may be mentioned. Mm -hmm. Well, Ronan would make more sense, especially because if we are jumping into the Kree Skrull War, which it looks like all the pre-production art we saw, we saw Skrulls yes. and we saw Krees, and the Krees have to be involved because Marvel and she's yes. getting her powers in some she weird to, way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, whether or not Ronan is going to play a large role, what do you think? I think, so. I think it's certainly possible, and it's it's easier to age him down with that makeup that he wears. It doesn't make it look that obvious. So you can mm -hmm. make him look younger. Right. Yondu's going to be interesting because Rooker is on an age, so it'd be interesting to see how they would young him down to well, fit they with did the Tony Stark and, uh, They did, I know. They right. did Tony Stark in Civil War. So if they can do that, then great. I'm all for it. Do it. Let's have a little mm -hmm. fun. I also wonder if they're going to find a way to, now this merger has happened, People talk about Fantastic Four, right? Fantastic Four is part of that Kree Scroll War. Right. Would that be a way to slide them in as a cameo, maybe that post credit sequence? But in the nineties, do we well, want to do? I, I don't. That's what I'm saying. I do don't we know. Do the 90s? Are they going to go back in time? They're going to forward in time. What are they going to do? Let, with let, Fantastic my, Four? my feeling about Fantastic Four is like, I personally think that they're going to if they when they launch the Fantastic Four in the MCU, yeah. it's going to be 1963. Mm -hmm. It's going to be the very first Damn, time that really Mar is going to be the, it, but we are not going to see the fantastic four until we're in the future what i think is going to happen is they're going to go up in space and do all the stuff from the original oh, thing yeah. come back down go into the negative zone and then all somehow show up in 2020. okay that makes wow. sense wow so i feel like i feel like that okay. at least you get the best of both worlds because they are mm -hmm. the original they're, they're the first marvel superheroes ever Right, and I feel like in a, in a way to honor that, it's a nice way to start it in 1963. Damn, right. So I would like to see that. That's like a that. nice one to say. 63 is is interesting because then it changes from what we thought about with again Captain Marvel. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know because she's supposed to be the first. Right, she's supposed to be the first, and then if we're, I have no problem with it. We're just going to retcon that and say no, 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 that's not what he meant. He's all you know. Again, Shield has always known about everything going on. Right, since again World War Two. Remember, Red Skull technically isn't dead. Mm -hmm. He just got, you know, sucked up. Yeah, he's in, inside a cosmic cube he's somewhere. In, he's yeah. inside, right, whatever the, the, the limbo part, part of space. So, 
yeah, in that time, there could have been, you know, four sci- a scientists and four astronauts go off and something happens and we haven't heard anything from them. And all of a sudden, yeah. Right. It happened to Steve Rogers and nobody's really blinking an eye. Oh, yeah, he yeah. woke up exactly. in this the is future. True. So this I, I wouldn't have a problem with that. Mm-hmm. Shakes 2000 asks, isn't it about time we got a really good detective murder mystery Batman film? Uh, like a seven or Agatha Christie meets Batman type movie. I really don't want another Joker versus Bats. Well, I don't think any of us do either. I would love to see the one, one of the questions we had earlier in the week mm-hmm. was like, hey, I want to see like an R-rated Batman movie with Bat, maybe a supernatural Batman. And I, I, I love the idea of doing a hard R Batman movie. Mm-hmm. I love that. We've already got that with the killing animated, mm-hmm. the animated yeah. movie, the killing joke. But when you say supernatural with me, I don't want I, the thing that I love about Batman is that he's a human being. Mm-hmm. Right. He's a man. He's not, he doesn't have superpowers. He's using his brain, his intellect, he's trained his body, and he's a detective. He's supposed to be the world's greatest detective. So I want to see in this Batman movie, especially if it's Matt Reeves' Batman movie, I want to see him already. I don't want to see a year one. I want to see him already Batman, already like, you know, in, inside Gotham fighting this gang crime syndicate where yeah. there's houses everywhere. You got the Penguin, you got the Riddler, you got the Joker, you got all the Black Mask, you got all of them. They're already set up. Gotham should be a horrible place. You'd never want to live there. So what are your thoughts? Well, you know, we were getting close to that type of Batman with the murder mystery, somewhat with the Nolan, because mm-hmm. you would see Bale use technology and try to solve and put, yep. put one and one together. Totally. But we never got, got fully into it. Right. The, and then the Dark Knight Rises, when he had to figure out with the fingerprints and things like that. So we saw little elements of it. Yeah, that is one of the big things about Batman, him being a detective. We need to see more of that. We need to see more of Bruce Wayne in the daytime collecting clues. Mm -hmm. And nobody understands what Bruce Wayne is doing. And he takes him back to the Batcave and he's analyzing them, things like that. Yeah, Yeah, let us get that. And of course, Bat, yeah, Gotham is supposed to be the darkest place ever. I I took this question as a fantasy question. Mm -hmm. Because I'm looking forward to Gotham by Gaslight. Like, that's one of my favorite Elseworlds books ever written. You know, him and Houdini trying to solve that thing. And so the fact they're doing an animated film of this, it's off the charts awesome for mm-hmm. me. And the preview that they released was incredible. Looks great. Well. So, but like this year, or this past year, rather in January, Batman and the Shadow got together for a right. six part mini series. Right. If you want to do something like that, that's what I'm talking about fantasy wise, right? Lamont Cranston, supposedly he's the he's the killer, but he's been dead 50 years. Batman tries to figure this out and then join, they join forces to right. try and catch what really happened. So I, I agree with you. The Batman murder, that needs to happen because I know people want to defend BVS, and I respect the fact people got a right to love whatever they love, but you cannot defend that Martha moment to me in any way, shape, or form <laughs> because you are the world's greatest detective. And don't give me this shit. If they didn't say it, then it's not canon. Shut up. It, he's the world's greatest detective. He's Batman. He should be solving crime. Should be, that's his superpower. Yeah, he's got money, and, and he's rich, and all that kind of jazz, <laughs> but what he is, he's incredibly intelligent yes. and smart, and he's able to figure this stuff out, and you need that kind of guy on a team right. to figure out what's happening. You know what's interesting though? A lot of people tune out when you hear Agatha Christie. People are like, that's some boring, you know, clue ridden <laughs> thing. But you're like, hey, look, Molly's game. Yes. Is a, it was yes. something where you're sort of like, she's playing the playing everybody mm-hmm. and creating this entire world. I mean, it's a, that type of thing. You like imagine something very fast paced where you're like rocking through, like putting it together. Can you put this together before Batman does? Yeah. Like it's like, you know, Columbo would always be like, we already knew the crime and you had to watch this dude <laughs> kind of figure it out. That's <laughs> right. not the kind of thing you right. want to see. If you want to be, you want to be two steps behind Batman trying to figure it out before right. he does. So right. I feel like hopefully we get something with that with Matt Reeves. We'll see. Tyrion Lannister asks, yeah, that's right. Tyrion <laughs> Lannister. We can't wait to see those six you know, movie length episodes or whatever when, you, when it comes out this year. Hey guys, I was wondering what you thought of studios releasing exclusive extended cut director's cut versions of superhero movies on streaming services. Well, um, look, we're in probably the last year, maybe the last two, three years of physical media, mm-hmm. DVDs, Blu-rays, whatever you want to call mm-hmm. them, the, the, the 3D cube or whatever they come out with next to try to get you to own something. I'm, a, I'm guilty. I love Blu-rays. I love owning physical media, but a lot of people don't now. A lot of people just are like, look, if it's not on streaming, I don't care. You know, I've mentioned movies sometimes, so I never heard of it. I was like, well, you know, you could rent it now. Nah, it's not on Netflix. It's yep. like, if it's not on Netflix, <laughs> it don't exist. I'm like, yo, this is a weird world <laughs> that we're entering. So if we are indeed in this zone now, uh, exclusive extended cuts, director's cuts, like we were mentioning, oh, there's a Dark City, and I mentioned, oh, there's a Dark City director's cut. Christian mm-hmm. was like, oh, and the Mark was like, oh, whatever. There's too many director's cuts. I was like, no, there's like, look, I think that's the magic, the beauty of cinema. It's like, here's the movie that was released. Here's, here's the shot. extended version. Mm-hmm. Like, I like the, the BVS ultimate cut. 
I'll never watch the one that was released in the theater again. Because right. I, cause to <laughs> me, the one, the three hour one, look, it's not a great film, but at least it makes more sense to yeah, me. Yeah, but uh-huh. I just can't, I, I want those people that's like, look, release that version. Because mm. everybody was like, you got to see the, the extended cut. You got to see the extended cut. I paid to see what was released. Dude, theater. I'm with you, man. I was pissed. <laughs> I I'm, was pissed. I'm with you. I was pissed. I was like, yo, don't bait and switch, man. Right. And so, and then I have to turn around and pay again to watch this three hour right, version. Yeah. I don't have a problem with it, putting those stuff on streaming. Like you said, this is where we're going. Well, yeah, we got just, we got gonna have five versions of Just League. All right. I hope we got, so. We got the movie that came out. <laughs> we we got the <laughs> Joss Whedon 15 minute extra cut, whatever. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna uncircumcise, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> then you got the Snyder cut. The one that everybody's yeah. throwing pictures. Everybody's crying for. about this, like the three hour yeah. unfinished, here's the, you know, CG shots. So that's at least three versions. They're oh. gonna have, I, I, you know, it's gonna be like the Blade Runner of DC movies. Yeah, you know, it's gonna have yeah. multiple versions. Five discs. Yeah, five discs. Well, the, the issue, uh, John and Jay, is it used to be director's cut was something you look forward to because you yes. enjoyed the original. Yes. And you're like, what, like with Blade Runner, people still liked the original Blade Runner, and mm-hmm. they're like, director's cut got made it even better. But it was you still enjoyed the original. So yeah. it, it was that it used to be director's cut was like like a joy for a cinephile to discover like, oh, there's more here. And sometimes it didn't work out. Sometimes it didn't. Like Cinema Paradiso, the extra, it's terrible. Don't ever watch the director's cut. I agree. But most of the time, the original cut is fantastic, and the director's cut just adds layers to it, right? So this uh, everything should be accessible like you're saying we're moving away from digital media which drives me insane but hey i'm getting great deals on black friday on on blu-ray so i'm happy for that (laughs) but eventually yeah we're all going to move away from this kind of stuff and we'll have to but i want us all to have access like netflix has just the movie netflix should have movie then the special features then the director's cut and all that should be a eventually because like look i watched dark which is a 10 episode time travel series which uh-huh. is brutal and dark just they're not lying it's called dark okay. expect darkness wow. it's one of the greatest time travel series i've ever seen it's on netflix it's on netflix okay it's, my it's so deep i mean you literally have to pay attention in a good way it's it's not boring or slow but right. you're like oh my god it's it's trippy it's so well done cool. but you have to watch it in german you have to watch it in the german so language be subtitles there is okay. an English translation. Okay, you can no, watch it with no. English, but it ruins the movie. Yeah. Okay, it ruins so have, the series. Okay, Russo, you watch it in German with the English subtitles. Yeah, yep. and right. that's available. And thank God, because I was going to turn it off and not watch it. Because the it not only is the dubbing off, but it was like, hey, Poppy, what's going on? Oh. It was like, yo, oh, no, oh. no. Not 2018. No, I wanted back. to hear the <laughs> 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 with the, yeah. Dessert. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's his no. time machine. Nine. Yeah, it's like, look. Highly suggest that. And also Cinema, Cinema Paradiso, I'm glad you brought that up because yeah. look, if they only release that, some some director's cuts, I feel, should be, here's the movie and here's the additional 48 minutes. Right. Don't cut it back into the film. Like, I personally feel like all those Aquaman scenes with Willem Dafoe, I don't want to see, unless it's the Snyder cut, which we're never going to mm-hmm. see is how right. I feel about it. If you are going to put those on, put them in just like not in the movie, but just here's here he is getting the outfit with Willem Dafoe. Here he is yeah. hanging out inside of a clamshell with Willem Dafoe with all the graphics not finished. <laughs> here's all the green screen. I just want to see it because I'm curious. Here's another air bubble of them talking. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't, I believe I me, I'd watch show. all of it. I wouldn't be mad. I'd be like, I finally got to see it. I just want to see more air bubbles. <laughs> yeah. If anything, I just want to see somebody go, Whoop. so now we can talk. Oh, man. <laughs> what? I, I, I wonder if they're going to keep those. I don't think they're Yo, keeping James those. James Wan already said he went on Twitter okay. was like, yeah. no. No air yeah. bubbles. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, maybe those scenes won't be released in an air pocket. Uh, air pocket universe has been destroyed. But the clamshell. I didn't know I wanted the clamshell until you said the clamshell. <laughs> said the clamshell. Right. Now I want the clamshell. Yeah, giant monster clamshell. This is where we could talk in secret. Andrew Greges asks question for Collider Heroes. Many MCU fans want to see Iron Man 4 and Thor 4, <sighs> including us, uh, with so many characters who haven't gotten the solo treatment yet. How about an Iron Man Thor team up based on the God Complex storyline, just as one last hurrah for those characters? Look, man, I think Marvel team up would be an incredible one shot series. Like yes. check it like, you yes. know, they stopped doing those one shots. Yep. Imagine, just imagine next year if I was like, yeah, you know what? We decided to make 12 one shots, one for every month. And it's going to be like, it is going to be like a little a little Iron Man Thor team up. It's a fucking five minutes. Five minutes. Oh, yeah. What that's all think? we need. That's all we need. Mm-hmm. Cause I don't, cause then you're starting to ask for way more movies. Right. You're starting to really, we already, 
I always tell everybody this. When the MCU started, we had just the basic movies. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was meant to be your conduit until the next movie came out. Right. And then we started getting more films. And then we started getting more series. Yeah. You know, <laughs> then we started getting more series. I don't, the one shots were cool. Do a one shot, five, 10 minutes, you can get everybody's joy off. Yep. You can get the Iron Man Thor. You can get the Thor Hulk that everybody wants. Yep. I keep seeing that. When are we gonna get Thor Hulk? Look, you, you get it in the movies, okay? Right. You already get it in the films. Let's have that. You don't need a full film about that. When are we gonna get the Thing and the Hulk fighting? How about a Marvel team up? Give I me, wouldn't mind that. Give me five minutes of that. I want five minutes. <laughs> So I'm, I'm all into that. What do you think, Robert? Yeah, there's so much to play with in the God Complex storyline, so it'd be fun to see that kind of play out with mm. those two. And it would be a great way to kind of say goodbye. If they're actually going to recast, give them one kind of shot to do to work together because they Check have great it. chemistry, I, Robert Downey Look Chris at Chris Hemsworth. Hemsworth. Yeah. Just last week, he was like, look, man, I know my contract is up, but like, <laughs> yeah. can I can I have a scene? Can I, I'm, do, I'm re-upping. Yeah. I want to be with Deadpool. I want to be with you, Jack. And he started, because look, all the people in the Marvel Studios universe, yeah. You got Pena already talking about Ant Man three. Like yeah. three, but all of all the things that everybody's saying is like, man, I love being a part of this family. Mm -hmm. I love being part of this universe. It'd be crazy. I mean, look, think think about it as an actor. If you're like, yeah. look, man, somebody just gave me the golden ticket. I won the Willy Wonka golden ticket. I'm with all the Oompa Loompas forever. Yeah. Why would you stop? When they're like, look, you can go do. You want to go make your movie? You want to direct some? Go take do, take a year off, man. Come back like Steve Rogers. Yeah. Captain America. Chris Evans. I mean, think about it. He's like, mm -hmm. I'm tired of being Captain America. You're tired of being the most <laughs> beloved character <laughs> yeah. on the planet. I think that was the same thing with Chris Hemsworth. Yeah. First, mm -hmm. he, but I think it was different because he was tired of having Thor be bland. Yeah. Yes. That's why. And when he did Ragnarok, it reinvigorated refreshed him because he's funny. Because he's yeah. funny. Yeah. And he got he got re refreshed, reinvigorated. He was like, yes, I. We'll, let's keep doing these films. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, I don't th I think, but I think Robert Downey Jr., however, if that man wants to walk away from this, let him. Yeah. He has earned it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just like we let Hugh Jackman walk away. He has put For in now. his time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has put in his time. Let him, if he if he wants to walk away, fine. But if Chris, if Chris Hemsworth is like, uh, I'm here, let's do this. Oh, yeah. Then let them have the last together. Mm -hmm. And then you can recast Robert Downey Jr. But Chris Hemsworth is like, so when do I when do I go? I got ahead? four, five, six. <laughs> so I, I got Beta oh, Ray yeah. Bill. I got, I got a bunch beta, of stories. I got all so when do I put yeah. this on? Listen, you know? you'd, you'd have to drag me kicking and screaming off uh, uh, Marvel Universe. Like I would re up till I was dead. I would mm -hmm. do all kinds of technique, like all kinds of plastic surgery, make me look young. <laughs> I would go get platelet <laughs> stuff in Germany, <laughs> get my blood replaced. Well, Robert I'd be Downey in a hyperbaric chamber. <laughs> Whatever it took to keep me young, I would do. Man. I don't think Robert Downey Jr. Even though they're saying like, look, Iron Man, Tony Stark's going to die. I think he's going to stick around oh, as yeah. the new Jar. I feel like his voice as a oh, VO is going to be part of the MCU shit. for as long okay, as he's alive. Can see, that okay. could be that could be nice because okay. he could be in charge of all the new Stark Enterprise stuff as some kind of Siri type yeah. device thing where it's just okay. His voice. I can see that like, when you get rid of uh, when you get rid of Friday yep. and you have it be him now. Yep. I can I could definitely see that. Uh, yeah, I could live with that, but I mean, <laughs> because at first I'm like, okay, he's just gone, because voiceover doesn't take, no, it's no real taxing right, and no right, tolling right. your body. And he could be a smart ass, we call me Stark, you know, but like, it, it would be amazing. I, I would hope that they would go that route. <laughs> that, that's a nice route to possibly go. They also could go the route where they push them back, like like Captain America becomes Nomad, and so so Bucky takes over Captain America, right. and then War Machine becomes Iron Man, but right. Tony Stark doesn't put this, but helps him out from like his tower or yeah. whatever. So you push them back, and then they come back in one or two films later, all banned one more time and then it's over that would work look i mean they're saying it's over in avengers 4 yeah but like it's hard to, it's hard to really like until i see it i'm crying in the theater it accept. really is over yeah. you know i'm gonna have these weird dreams like you guys you know why not because we've got two years joe medina <laughs> asks where's your excitement level at with the superman death and return of animated movie coming out sometime this year superman doomsday was already a bare bones telling of the story how much from the comic do you think will actually be used unite the sweaties that's right unite the sweaties son so joe um Look, man, I would love to see a true blue adaptation of the death and return of Superman mm -hmm. and the year in between, the funeral for a friend, the four separate Separ Supermans. Yeah, I, was, yeah. Super I mean, look, it's like, I don't know if they're going to break it up into two parts. I, don't, I haven't done enough re reading on like how exactly they're going to, is this a, a one-shot movie, yeah. the death and return of Superman, or is it a two-parter? Do you guys know? Is it? A, is anything uh, I don't know, I, I, but it would make sense to be a two-parter. There's so yeah, much in so there. much you don't want to cram all that into one film. Yeah. Right, and you don't want to mess it up, right? right. Steel yeah. already messed it up, and so hey you don't- Hey, man, <laughs> let Shaquille O'Neal <laughs> have the worst foam <laughs> suit in history. Oh, man, <laughs> I, I, it was on the other night on mm. one of the pay channels. It's even in four by three. They didn't release it as 16 by nine on a pay channel. 
else. It is that bad of a movie. <laughs> and so I'm watching it going, this is just horrible. Everybody involved in this just was like, should have been crying going home, like, I can't believe I have to do this. Uh, so to me, this is, I, I, there's so much, you're right, John, there's so much just rich in this and what happened with Steel, with Superboy, with the difference with the black suit, all right. the, the, we can finally get the black suit. Right. So we'd like to see all of that play out with Doomsday, Lois, all this. So well, we did, we got the Superman the Doomsday. Doomsday. Yeah, Superman Doomsday yeah, but, had the black yeah, we suit. Had that. Yeah, but I want, I want to see more of, like, sure. just more playing Because we got screwed game. with Just League. Yes, that's, that's what you're that's trying, what trying to say. Like, we started seeing the pits Without hurting anyone's feelings. I know, man. Come on. Yeah. See, I think uh, honestly, that's why people want to see the Snyder cut because they're like, as long as I get that black suit. Well, remember, yeah, Harry really... Campbell was taking pictures. Yeah. And he when he took pictures, everybody was like, oh my God, we're getting the black suit. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, I'm just chilling with my suit on. Mm -hmm. And it was like, wait, is this? So people were like, oh, is this Photoshop? Is this a filter? And you're like, no, this is actually black. And everybody was like, okay, we're getting it. Then you hear, well, they did some changes. Uh, what changes? Well, you might not see this suit. Like, huh? <laughs> you might not see a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> anyway, I, yeah, the death and return. I think that storyline works. I mean, Jay, do you want to see all four of those yes, characters? I, I want to see, see that. I want to see. I remember, but I remember when the death happened, and as a kid, getting the comic book to watch all to read all four and the different the uh, what was it like the Quasar type Superman or something sure, like yeah, that. Yeah. I want to see all that. Do it in an anime and see what they can do because bring that back. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, it seems to be nowadays with film and TV anyway, we're getting nostalgic and going to the 90s era. Yeah. Come on, let's go back with this. Yeah. yeah. Hey, look, I made a documentary series, a documentary feature film called The Death yep. of Superman. Which Lewis. I loved it. Yeah. I loved uh, What it. Happened. I made that with Holly Payne. We had a great, so you could always go, you could rent it right now, tdoslwh.com. You could watch it. It's available. But uh, that was going to be the Tim Burton version. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. With Nick Cage as Superman. A lot the of people worst say that. hair in the world. Crazy <laughs> hair. But you know, look, I think when you see this film, you might change your mind if you have an idea about it but the the death of superman part one the return of superman yeah. is part two i think you could because there was the lead up of doomsday remember that build yeah. up over the yes, over almost an entire year uh -huh. where all these characters are trying to fight this unstoppable Monster, beast of a yeah. creature and finally the only person who could take it out is superman but at the death of his of himself mm -hmm. cut to you know, a little bit, maybe, I don't know if they would end it with the death of Superman and then to you know, be continued, or if you'd like have, it could be three movies. You have this yeah. entire funeral for a friend, two hours with all these other Supermans coming in, mm -hmm. and then the return of Superman. I don't know, maybe I'd have that. That could be, I know, mean, so, is, it, is it an hour long? Is it an hour, two hours, yeah. an hour and a half? What are we doing? I would make an hour and a half two-parter. Like, yeah, okay. Hour and a half, okay. another hour and a half. Dude, yeah. that we're talking about returns, hour and a yeah. half each one. Okay, yeah. that's they fine. Could do yeah. That. Yeah. yeah, like maybe he could even die, it dies in the, in the middle of mm -hmm. the first one, and then we see those four characters come into yeah. you know to end the film and then it comes back with them actually established doing their thing and then a couple of things are revealed superman comes back right. so anyway uh hey i'm glad they're doing it can't wait to see it it's come, probably going to come out at the end of this year all the animated series that, the, that those guys are doing over at wb they're doing an incredible job yep. keep doing what I you're always doing always said that the, yeah. the animated series everything they've done has been phenomenal mm -hmm. yeah uh, the justice leagues all of those have been yep. amazing right. everything they do in animated is just beautifully done the stories the art everything is yep. phenomenal yeah. phenomenal i would love to see new gods done animated because right. you know what you know, they're not going to screw it up and yeah. because yeah. The animation look they don't have the biggest budgets but when they do the dark knight returns or when they do mm -hmm. the killing joke they throw a little bit of extra money yeah, in there of course like outside of all that dumb batgirl stuff and the killing joke if it just started right where he's going to visit the Joker, which is where I start watching it. Yeah. It's awesome. It's, it's awesome. amazing. So it's like, I mean, look, I mean, is it a feature film experience when you see these animated films? Yes and no. I mean, it's still like you're seeing a movie, mm -hmm. and it, but it's just like sometimes it's not at that quality level, right. like something you'd expect from an animated feature film. Right. I'd like to see them step it up, especially because they're in it for the long game. Throw a couple extra hundred grand at each of these films just to step up that animation just a little bit. You said that just so, just a couple extra hundred grand. Yeah. But when we talk about the main movies, it's like, well, I need about 15, 20 more million. <laughs> but that's <laughs> what know? I'm saying. I know, but it's just, it's, the, it's just that difference in the, the amount of the volume of money right. that's mm -hmm. needed to make one better than another. But that's I understand it, it because they're, you know, D, DC uh, WB is in a bit of a, uh, a, a, a problem because yep. most of the films that don't have Batman in it don't sell. Yeah. So that's why you see Batman in Just League Dark because he has to be in there. Yeah. Because otherwise, people like you, us sweaties would get it, but we're a small. We got to yeah. keep growing. But as as it is right now, <laughs> as it is right now, that's not that sales. They yeah. need to be. They it needs a crossover and to have a lot of kids who love Batman. I want to watch that because Batman's in it. They're like Constantine and Swamp Thing are in it. Who? <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, they're still mm -hmm. gonna do it. So right. look, but we, as as everything keeps moving forward, I think we're gonna see some bigger growths in that. Jody Boostin asks, with Disney buying Fox, do you think we will see a villain from the X-Men, Fantastic Four universes such as Doom, Galactus, or even Kang in the MCU before an actual hero from either universe? Ooh. I think we answered that earlier. I yeah, think we're we gonna did. see Galactus. Galactus. Yeah or Kang or Doctor Doom showing up in one of those end credit sequences yep. yeah. for Avengers Infinity War. I would love to see that. Hopefully they can do that. That's in a couple months. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to believe Infinity War is literally a couple months. And it takes nothing to add a little extra post credit scene. Right. I keep telling people that they're like, oh, it would take all this time. A post credit scene that is nothing, no longer than what, 30 seconds to yeah. a minute? Yeah would not take any time. It just puts, you don't have to have the actual actor right. who's gonna play the character to be there. They shot the shawarma scene at the Avengers premiere. Yeah. So I went to the Avengers premiere and all those actors were there. After the premiere, they all got in their outfit and shot that shawarma scene. Cause it was, <laughs> I didn't see it because they didn't have it made yet. Oh, when that's I saw hilarious. It. So I was like, it's crazy how quick you can do a cool, yeah. and that was a minute and a half scene of them just eating food. <laughs> yep. And it, you just, have a scene. and it was so, I don't know why it was just so hilarious. Very satisfying. It was just so hilarious to watch because you see Captain America like this is, this is, this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. A uh, Carter the Great, with Disney buying Fox, are we going to get the Storm and Black Panther relationship? I, I would be very <laughs> surprised. And this is because Alexandria Ship is 14 years younger than Chadwick. Right. So that would be weird. No, I get it. Now, Jay can speak to this better than I can. Black don't crack. I know you could be 80 and look 30 in the black community. I get that. I respect that. I'm jealous of that. But I would be surprised if they played that off right off the bat. I think it, maybe you might want to recast and then do that because I think... I, I like Alexandra's shit, but Chadwick brings like a level. That was you know what good, I'm saying? That was Power. what I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah, you have to. I think you definitely have to cast Alexandra's ship. There, there wasn't, a, for honestly, a, a positive full response as her as Storm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So you have to recast her if you're gonna do this angle. Mm -hmm. And of course, because we don't, we don't know by MCU standards how old T'Challa is. Mm -hmm. We've never heard that. That's a good right. point. Yeah. So we've never heard by. We can say. 20s we could he could be 20s 30s even though we know the actor is in his 40s right but we don't know exactly t'challa's age right now if you do go ahead and bring that that is a storyline everybody wants yep. it's a beautiful storyline but when, when you're talking about the mcu as a whole are we trying to just satisfy that as comic book nerds mm -hmm. or does it actually fit in the mcu as a grand scheme behind everything else right because don't get me wrong i would love to see that film I would love to see it, but I have to think about, okay, this is in the MCU. What does this lead to? What does this go to? Mm. Because every film, even though they have their own element, their own essence, is a part of a bigger picture. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you first and foremost, you have to recast Alexandria's show. Well, yeah. I agree. And not Halle Berry either. Let me say that. Yeah. Not Halle yeah. Berry either. I, it's not I gonna don't be, want that. It's not going to be Halle Berry. <laughs> or I, I think what they're going to do is, my guess is like, you got Dark Phoenix. That's in, in the can. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. done. Mm -hmm. That's coming out this year. That's yep, coming out in like seven dude, months or whatever. Yep. Jesus. So... <laughs> Whatever that is, I'm hoping it's great. Me too. I want hoping it to be amazing. Yep. I always want any of these movies to be amazing. I, so look, they don't know how to get. Look, they never knew how to get the third one right in X Men movies. And X Men Apocalypse was a horrible. Let me just say yeah. Deadpool and Logan. Yeah. So you can't hate on those two movies. So that's okay. why I remain positive. Okay. Yeah. I'm that's not going to say they're going to be great. <laughs> that's fair. But I want to have that I'm positive. I'm trying I'm to share that positivity <laughs> because look, if they can nail it and they and they do nail it then we are going to get at least one more X-Men film before it crosses over, you know, crosses yes, the streams right. into the Marvel world. When it goes to the Marvel universe, everyone's recast. Oh yeah. There's yeah. a brand new Wolverine. Yep. There's a brand new Professor X. Probably. There's a brand new everybody. We get rid of Ty Sheridan. Uh, everybody. Man, if we get rid of Fastbender as Magneto, I, I would be against that, but I guess you're probably right. It's everybody, dude. There, but guess what? There's all these other actors <laughs> who we, can play these roles. And we stuck yeah. so long, we didn't want to see anybody else outside of Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen. That's right. true. Remember, so we That's had true. to grow into McAvoy That's and, and totally. Fastbender. Yeah. So, I mean... And yeah. they were great. They yeah, were they were great. Because we love them now. And <laughs> yeah. we're like, when First Class came out, I was like, I actually love these younger versions yeah. of yeah. Xavier. And, and yeah. I didn't think I would. Okay. I loved it. So, yeah. right, so look, change uh, is good. Space. Change right. is good. And I think, uh, look, if they're going to do the Storm and Black Panther relationship, I would expect that to happen by like probably six or seven movies down the line. I mean, mm -hmm. we got Black Panther, which comes out literally in a month. Yes. Yeah. Exciting about, that's really incredibly exciting. Yeah. Uh, then we're going to see everybody show up. And then we kind of, let the Fox X-Men universe kind of change and let it evolve into the MCU universe, which is changing and evolving as we speak, as, right, they, yep. as they get ready to finish up their phase three that we all love and whatever they're gonna call it, phase four, Fantastic Four, whatever it's gonna be, that's not until 2020 right. when they even started. So yep. 
it's got all the time in the world. So I, I'm with you. I would like to see it recast, but I'd like to see it farther down the line yeah. if they were going to do yeah, it. It's not a rush for it. No, yep, no rush. Uh, last question comes from Matthew Jasso. He says, just finished Camelot 3000. How is this not a series animated? Or would you prefer to see it as a live action film? Well, check it. I'm one of those people who did not like the King Arthur film that came out this year. To me, the only film, Roca as well did not yep. like it. I the only it. film that honors the King Arthur legend to me is Excalibur. One right. of the, I feel like one of the most amazing films, John Borman's Excalibur. Mm -hmm. If you have not seen it, do yourself a favor. A la mantra, el oxras, <laughs> du chante. I can't do all of it, but <laughs> the dragon's breath. Do yourself a favor. See the one and only true Merlin, mm -hmm. Nickel Williamson. Yep. Um, do yourself a favor and see Excalibur. I cannot suggest that highly enough. It's not a super film, but it is kind of because Excalibur is magical. You got to see it. But look, King Arthur, I mean, I felt like I was getting ADD watching it. I was like, I don't know what's <laughs> happening to me. <laughs> Things are too cut and cut to cut. I was like, what is this movie? It's crazy. So if you liked King Arthur, rock on. <laughs> couldn't I couldn't hang I, I couldn't hang with it. I was on a plane oh. and I kept fast forwarding. I was like, I'm bored out of my mind and I gotta yeah. get through this. So I, I, I kind of watched like, you know, maybe yeah. 15 minutes of it. Total. Total. So look, yeah. Camelot 3000. Have you guys checked it? Of course. Mm -hmm. I right, only so when it first came Brian out. Bowling. I mean, yeah. come on. That series changed comic books mm -hmm. and it has not gotten enough it is underrated a lot not enough people have have gotten on the camelot 3000 tip even now yeah. it's ahead of its time what are your thoughts about it yeah man i i would love to see it if they did it animated what they're doing with these animated features now is so much more than what they did 10 years ago hell even five years ago yep. you see they're bringing more depth more complexity the writing is is a lot more uh interesting to follow and you would you just really enjoy it and it doesn't feel cheesy so if they can put that kind of effort and dedication and love to Camelot 3000 and I'd love to see an animated film on it because the thing about Camelot 3000 and I'm a massive King Arthur guy since I was a child mm -hmm. so for me when that came out on like I was that was recommended to me in like the early 90s by mm -hmm. a comic book guy or something and he was and I read I rip through that thing because it doesn't lose the heart of the story it puts you in the future and all this crazy stuff and aliens and pterodactyls and shit, weird birds all the kind of crazy <laughs> right? stuff going on but there's still the story of the love triangle that has to be there yes. and there's no way out and when it starts to pop its head as you're watching it you're just caught up in it as you're watching it and then it starts to pop its head and you're like oh that's right crap he they will never let go of lancelot and guinevere's mm -hmm. romantic interest and arthur has to break has to be broken by it and you're just like damn it so the 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 the, the graphic novel is incredible in capturing that so if you put the right people on it i'd love to see an anime i don't think i don't think live action they can't get king arthur right live action other than excalibur so i'd rather not them try because they we'll get another in they do DC. they just well, tried you, recently uh, on legends of tomorrow they oh tried. right, they well, that's, that's I mean, but that know, was their that was their TV show. Yeah. You know, but that was their way of trying to say, let's see what we can do mm. because these mm -hmm. Legends has a way. Well, the whole DC universe now, the Arrowverse yeah. has a way of trying to incorporate various storylines and yep. story arcs. Mm -hmm. And so they said, let's do Camelot, mm. and they did switch the the love affair instead of it being Lancelot, it was Sarah Lance. Oh, right. So they try different things. So they, that's why I bring that up just for live action. Mm. I do agree. You have to do this animated. Mm -hmm. See, I, I got to disagree with both of you. Okay. I don't want to see it animated. Why? Because Killing Joke. I'll use that as my example. Brian Bolin is the yeah. artist of Killing Joke. Mm -hmm. He's also the artist of Camelot 3000. Now, nothing can, can compare right. to his line quality, his art style yes. animated, unless you spent like $50 million, which they did not spend on Killing Joke. It still had that animated look, mm -hmm. which I, I like for Batman, the animated series, but oh, I'm sorry, when it's it. an adaptation from one of the greatest comic books ever made, The Killing Joke, it, and it's not playing with that look, that 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 quality yeah. of penmanship that, that Brian Boland has, as well as just Alan Moore's incredible script writing. Mm -hmm. This is written by Mike Barr. It's an incredible script. Yep. But the thing that killed me on it, I was buying it issue by issue. And wow. I was like, whoa, it was blowing me away. You know, this is like a direct market kind of comic book. This is when they were first trying this kind of stuff. The artwork is what kept me going. Yep. Brian Boland is like one of the premier artists. So to me, you're unless they're able to capture that kind of art style in the animated world, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see like some half-ass version, some, you know, well, we were able to get to kind of the shadowy, no. I think they could, do, I think they could with this day and age to be able to replicate it, if you would, 
-hmm. because of the way technology has gone to be right. able to, to, to learn what the style is. You scan some of the original pictures, the computers can learn it. Right. And the right. animators, it'll learn, and the animators know how to use it from there, if that makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense to me, but I want to see it on HBO as a 12 episode maxi series. That would be, I want oh to see God. it. That would be good. Oh my I, God. I don't want to see a movie version. <laughs> I like that. My feeling yes. about movies in general mm -hmm. have shifted because of streaming. Mm -hmm. Because of now I'm like, I'm, I'm greedy. I'm like, I want Damn. more of this world yeah. that you introduced me to. If okay. they do it right, I want more okay. of it. And I think most people know that now. That's why Hulu and stream, they're like, mm, we got them. Yeah. <laughs> like, think, they're like, you got <laughs> yeah. me, I want more. And it's like, when you have a 90 minute movie, no matter how great it mm -hmm. is, and you're like, oh, come back for the sequel in three years, a little part of my heart is like, oh, <laughs> is it gonna be the same people? Oh, uh, we probably couldn't get those actors. Or like, oh, yeah, so it's like- I don't wanna come back now. <laughs> but instead it's like, oh, there's, how many more episodes are left? Mm, nine. Oh, I'm gonna savor them. Sometimes I wait months before yeah. I see the ending of stuff because you savor it. It's a different experience right. that we live in now that you went back five years ago even. Yeah. No one would have this kind of experience. Even yeah. five years ago. I remember when it started with me, it was lost. Right. Well, I just started streaming Lost, like yeah. watching Lost, because I hadn't watched it. I was like, I'm not going to watch Lost. And somebody finally was like, dude, it's really good. And it was Netflix. You're getting the discs. And I remember like, we watched the first couple discs, then it was streaming. It was yeah. like literally that crossover moment where you're like, I'm absorbing a season in a week as opposed to waiting an entire year. Yeah. And that bingeable thing is now just kind of everybody's life. Like where I'm, I'm greedy and you may, you forced me to be greedy. <laughs> so I do want Camelot 3000. I want all of it. I don't yeah. want like the, the little like condensed version. Well, okay. we couldn't spend money on this or we had to cut all these scenes out. And I want all of it to be adapted and done right. So I feel like that's what a lot of people want nowadays. Mm -hmm. They want these series to be done the right way and the way, right way but is the, but i think the budget in some cases you know hinder that mm. there are some things that it depends on if the studio believes in it yep you got to get warner brothers to believe that they'll get the revenue behind it they'll get the viewership mm -hmm. behind it if they put this real money into it whether it be animated or live action they have to know this is going to get us something we're going to get a return on our investment with this i hear you and i feel like if you spent 50 million on a movie of account of Camelot 3000 or you spent 50 or say even 60 million on a series your return on the series is way better yeah, yeah absolutely it's just out the door you're like oh, absolutely the return on those series 60 million divided by 12 you're like oh we spent like 70 you're talking about Game of Thrones numbers mm -hmm. but uh yeah so hey this has been a really fun episode yeah. thanks for tuning in Jay where can people find you online you can find me on Facebook Instagram Twitter at Mr. J Washington that's M-R-J-A-Y-W-A-S-H-I-N-G-T-O-N Right on. Roka, where can people find you online? You guys always find me at the Roka Says on Twitter and on Instagram. And hey, it's MLK Day. If you haven't seen Selma, watch Selma. If oh, I'm sorry. Is the black person yourself. not saying that? My no, apologies. No. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you see Selma and understand and watch the I Have a Dream speech. My bad, because my blackness was showing the questions <laughs> just for not noticing that. My fault, uh, power to the people. Right. And, right. and by the time this comes out, Black Lightning tomorrow night, right? Or Black Lightning yeah. comes out yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Press that. Williams and the whole crew, man. I've heard the pilot is amazing. Yeah, and wait. a special shout out to Trevor Von Eden, one of the co-creators of Black cool. Lightning. I'm John Schnepp. You've been watching episode 210 of Collider Heroes. I'll see you on Wednesday. What's up, sweaties? John Schnepp here. Thanks for watching this episode of Collider Heroes. You want to watch more Collider episodes of Heroes, comic book shopping, and click on any of these links right here to get more of that content. You can subscribe right now and share Collider Heroes, share comic book shopping with your friends. Thanks for watching.